Question mark. <laughs> Let's see, I need to move over this way. Get everything set up here. Hi, Kenny. How you doing? I don't know who sent me these books. Do you know, Kenny? I don't know if it was the artist or one of you guys. Hi, Darla. Happy hump day. Where is he? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> hi, Lane. Anybody else I miss? Thanks for being here on hump day. Diane, Teresa. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Kenny. I, I got your email about uh, some other book. Oh, I didn't know what ones they were, so. Um, just trying to get it straightened up here. That looks pretty good. Let's, let's see what's this is showing over here. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. She usually tells me, she didn't tell me about this. Hi, Pecola, Diane, Kat, Pamela. Hi, Melody. Melody, did you send me these or did the artist? <clears throat> Hi, Mary. Hi, Cheryl. If y'all are here new for the first time or watching the recording, I usually spend a few minutes saying good morning to everybody. Saying hi. Hi, color me happy, Burn Benny. Benny. <laughs> Janet. I can't remember. <laughs> Melody. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're by Mystic Mirror Arts. Surrealism, manga, oil painting art. Christian Glorious, Glorious Inc. And uh, she's in Germany. At least that's what the package said. Aha, uh -huh, Mark. <laughs> Hi, Daydreaming. Miss Suze. Who else? Miss Christine, Vanessa. Kiki, good morning, everybody. Hi, Robin. Elena, I'm sure I'm missing some people. <laughs> Hi, Terry. How you doing? Good to see everybody on hump day. Where's my soundboard here? <laughs> I know, I can't help it. I can't help it. I don't know how loud that was. I had it kind of turned down. <laughs> Mike's right here. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so, yeah. So, uh, anyway, I got these in the mail. I got two, so that, you know, that means one's going to be given away. Um, Thanks, everybody, for the early thumbs up. I appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing doing well. Okay, thanks, Melody. It might have been the artist then. She might have sent it. And they came in, you know, came with these little postcards, came with a little thank you envelope with these postcards and her business card. So this is who the artist is. I hope you can read that. So, yeah, we're going to color in this today. Um, I'll probably, hey there, Julie. I know her last name's not Topaz. <laughs> so we're going to color in this. I thought about maybe um, using, I haven't used my um, Arteza markers that I bought a while back. So, I mean, I've used them, but I haven't used them that much. So I thought maybe we could start with that and uh, at least test the paper. I haven't tested the paper, so we'll see how it works. Oh, oh, well, good, Robin. I'm glad you're feeling better. Hi, Gazelle. Loretta. Okay, Loretta, lurk away. We love our lurkers. 
I know, isn't this cute? And it's, you know, it's her art. I'm, I'm sure it looks the same type here. And uh, put on, I know, isn't that cute on the envelope? Uh, all the little postcards came in it. So, yeah. Hi, Bella. Bella's, Bella's channel. Welcome. Rick. Hey, Rick. Who else am I missing? I'm sure Nanamo. Hey, probably just say, okay, have a good day. I mean, well, I hope your appointment's a, a good one. <clears throat> Cynthia, lurky newbie, welcome. Patricia, lurking to listen. Y'all, lurk away. Thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up before y'all go lurk. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up and then lurk. <laughs> Uh, I got my brain art tutorial book is fab. Oh, you mean the right brain? Okay, Riri. Yeah, yeah. I know, right? You learn so much if you do the uh, drawing on the right side of the brain lessons or course. Yeah, uh-huh. Jacqueline, Patricia. Uh, who else am I missing? Thanks, everybody, for popping in. Yeah, um, sometimes the girls or some in the art, in this case, I think it's the artist that sent it to me, um, sent me two. So one's for, to give one away, Bella. Yeah, if if uh, any of the fibs, the friends in the box, if they or one of the artists send me two books, then one, I give one away. Um, let's see. Kimberly, Kelly. Um, good, good to have a more new newbies, live people. Hi, BDI Beth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'm trying to catch everybody as this chat goes by. Thanks everybody. So yeah, mom, mom said she might be in the background. I do about how to talk about books. Um, Really, Robin, he said he'll do it. He 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 doesn't mind. Um, I said, well, how about we do this? I said to start because he has to, you know, he's he has to get used to, <laughs> you know, he does fine. I think he does fine, but I don't think he feels like real relaxed yet, you know. I said, well, how about if we color in the Western book? Because he likes the Western book. He loves Western. He loves movies, old movies. Well, some new, new movies, too, like you know, sci-fi and, and, you know, he likes movies and, uh, but he, he reads history. He reads history, um, American history, world history, and, um, more recent. He doesn't like ancient history. I, I read ancient history, um, and American history and recent, more recent world war II, that kind of thing. Like he's reading the D day girls now, uh, and he's reading about Walt Disney and he likes um, so, and he likes westerns, history, and movies, old you know, and old movie stars and stuff like that. So he has biographies on all of them. So I said, well, how about if we color in the western book and you talk about a book? That just gives us something to do, you know, something for people to watch while he's talking, you know. Otherwise, we just sit here and we talk, you know. <laughs> we got to do be doing something. So he said that would be good. So I think we're going to, hi, Judy. I think we're going to do that. And the, the only thing is, is the, the really the only time we have to do, to re, re, record to, together is like Sunday afternoon. So, you know, and that's hard because other people are streaming. So we just have been doing um, just recordings, you know, just recording them. You know, Saturday, we're usually doing yard stuff, errands, or going seeing the kids or something like that. So Sunday afternoons, we can we can stream. I mean, we can do it, but it's, you know, there's so many streamers. So we just record. Yeah, and, and guys, a couple things. If you are new here, make sure if you want to talk to me, put it in caps, like Pacola just said. The second thing is, see at the top of the chat where it says, you're going to either see top chat or live chat. You make sure to click that to live chat. Otherwise, you may not see all the chat. So put live chat. Click that to make sure. Thank you, Kat. <clears throat> K. 
retail guy purchases the I bought. Uh, oh, you bought six copies of these? Um, well, when I got them in Melody, they came in just the box from Germany or the, you know, the, the brown hard envelope. So there's no indication as to who sent them. So I don't know. If you sent them, no, Melody, thank you. And if anybody else did, then fess up. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. <clears throat> I, I, Melody usually sends, you know, double copies, one for a giveaway. So that's why I kind of figured it was her, but there was no, there's no, um, you know, no, uh, what do you call it? Anything, you know, saying who, but, uh, thank you, Melody. If it was you. Yeah. Thank you. Pacolas. also use all caps if you're talking to me so that I know you're talking to me. Otherwise don't use caps. Unless you're talking to me. Well, I'm fizzy because it's free. They usually don't send to. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. It could have been the artist. I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna color, we're gonna color in this today. This is what we're gonna we're gonna play in this today. Hi, <clears throat> <laughs> Kenny. Kenny has a little BRB and a little coffee. Don't talk about me. I can hear you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope uh, I hope everybody's doing well. Let's talk about Kenny. <laughs> I bet. <coughs> Some of my juice here. <laughs> Good one. Good one, Beth. <laughs> Hi, Button. I don't know why. Okay, I, I seem to be a little, um, I'm lagging here on my own screen. I hope we're not going to have issues today, guys. I seem to be having a little bit of lag myself. Hopefully, we're not going to have issues. I haven't had any internet issues, so I hope we're not going to start today. Um so I will um, I will be coloring in this. So again, I like to say good morning to everybody before we get started. Let me go ahead and tweet real quick, guys. Um, I think I'll take a picture of this, post it. Let's see. Um, let's do this. Let's do that. Let me take a let me take a quick picture to post. <clears throat> Um, let's see if I can get it all in here. And I'll tweet that. Let's see. Let's crop that down. No, like, okay, well, maybe it was just a little glitchy thing. You know, that happens. We don't know. We don't know. So, yeah. Let me crop this down. All right, let's see. Twitter, where are you? Here we go. All right, let's tweet this. Coffee and art in the morning live. New color books. Whoops. Let's put a link in profile. Okay, there we go. Let's put the picture. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, <laughs> thank you, sister. It's two sisters. It ran around, went, went off the chat. 
let's see, Lou, Danielle, <coughs> Jeremy. Hi, Jeremy. Let me get a sip of coffee, guys. Um, had to do errands. Okay. All right. So anyway, guys, I guess we could get started. Again, I just like to say good morning to everybody for a few minutes before we get crack a lacking. <clears throat> get my voice going. Jacqueline, Lou, I'm sure I'm missing some people popping in I'm, I, while I was looking down, while I was looking down tweeting. Hi, Aunt Beck. How's, uh, how's old Mary this morning? Mary streams before me usually in... I don't know. Does she, uh, Aunt Beck, does she stream like every morning at 4.30 or 5 in the morning? <coughs> I know she streams a lot of mornings. Um, I watched, you know, some recordings. Hi, Kia. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks for all the thumbs up. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I have to get my voice going here. <laughs> I don't think I ever watched that, Cynthia. Uh, what was crack a lacking? It means like get cracking. Let's get busy. We're gonna get crack a lacking. <laughs> like you crack the whip. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> That's what crack a lacking is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So again, I'll show you what she sent or who. Uh, maybe it was. Um, maybe it was uh, uh, Melody that sent them. But it came in this little envelope. Some some. Uh, Real pretty, okay, what, where's my light over there? Some really pretty little, um, let, let's see, I might need another light. Let's see. I had the bright sun out earlier, so I didn't need extra lighting, but there we go. That's a little better. So this one, this one is kind of dark. So I'm going to have to brighten it up again. We've got to keep keep turning up the light, turning up the light. There we go. Hi, Melinda and Hubs. <clears throat> Danielle, I'm sure I'm missing people. Remember, guys, if you want to talk to me, put it in caps. Because the chat goes zooming by. And if I'm looking away for even just, you know, 10 seconds, I miss a whole row of chat. So it's Mystic Art Mirrors. Surrealism, manga, oil, painting, art. Chris, Christian, Kristen, Kristen, Glorious Inc. And the, her website is www.mysticartmirrors.de. So she's she's in Germany. And there's the her business card. I love this little business card. Isn't it so cute? So she sent me a couple of those. And um, these do postcards. I love I love the way she has the sh the light under the eyes on the dark skin girl. I love that. I love that uh, effect. With the light under the eyes like that. That's very cool. And then on, the, you know, then she has the dark. And I don't know what it is about. It's like a trend or something. I don't know. I see all these people. I've done it a couple times on the show just to test it out. Oh, thank you, Terry. To do the little noses red, you know, <laughs> I did it on, um, let's see, which one did I do? I think I did it in, in my um, googly, uh, googly book. Googly book. <laughs> Let's, yeah, here. So I did it on this girl with the little red, kind of red nose. So, um, okay. <laughs> All right, Melody. Thank you, Melody. So I said, well, I'll, you know, and Cameron, my grandson, who do, is an artist, he, he does that too. I never asked him like why. I, I don't know that he'd have an answer. But so anyway, I do think it's cute. And I see a lot of... Um, you know, young girl artists that do that. But I just, I like it. And I just like, you know, she has real cute little style here with the big eyes and the shadows. And then um, if y'all, well, of course you didn't see me finish it because we didn't finish it on Monday, but I finished this page on Monday and I did post it. So y'all did not see me paint the background. I painted the background, threw on some stars, did some mist coming across the glass. And uh, then did put lots of stickles. But I wanted to show you all this because I did put all that stickles in now that it's dry. 
see it's all dry now so i wanted to show y'all because it's hard to capture on a photograph i did take a picture of it from the side view and so you could kind of see a little bit but it just doesn't photograph you know um glitter just does not photo gold and glitter neither one photograph well so anyway i just wanted to show y'all that i did finish this from monday and uh let's see what else we got going on i think that's pretty much it um, I did do a couple more little um, gouache paintings. I sent one to you, Melody. One is coming to you. Hope it doesn't take like a month of Sundays. <laughs> it shouldn't. I mean, I've sent you envelopes before, and it hasn't taken. It hasn't taken. Um, a, you know, I, I I don't think anything's ever got lost coming to you so far. So hi, Lou. Uh, who else am I missing? Thank you, Donna. Thanks, guys. All right, so let me pick these up um, and put them in here so we don't get them lost. Move one to the side here. I don't think she signed. Let me make sure. Oh, she did. She did sign this. Let's see if she signed them both. Yep, she signed them both. So, yeah, we, we, will do a, we will be giving one of these away. I don't know if it will be today. We'll see how it goes. But one of those will be given away. If y'all don't know, I do a, a monthly book giveaway the first Wednesday of the month. I give do a giveaway. And uh, so, yeah. All right. Do I have light everywhere? For some reason, it just looks a little, okay, a little dark. All right. So we're going to do a flip through, and then we're going to color in this. And, again, I, I'm going to try. I'm going to test. I'm going to test water, uh, my my uh, Arteza markers that I bought, I bought myself, um, and have, I've only played with a couple of times, so we're going to test that and see how the paper holds up to water media, and um, it's, this is, again, it's probably about 90, I don't think it's 110, I think it's, you know, about 90 weight cardstock alcohol markers because alcohol markers will um hi sean alcohol markers um will bleed through so let's see okay so i'm going to welcome back cheryl we're gonna we're gonna do a flip through mermaid and friends coloring book and uh we, we need to uh i'll cut them i'll probably cut it out you know uh it's just easier and then i put them in my notebook um i don't know if this is eight and a half by eleven standard size or if it's a a something you know european size it looks like it's eight by almost 12 just shy it's it's like 11 and three quarters so i don't know someone european what is that called a a three what is that eight by 11 and three quarters what is that a what size european size somebody will say <clears throat> hi hi nick and tina and i'm sure i'm missing some did i say hi to you julie i did uh vanessa it's an a4 a4 okay thank you vanessa so it's an a4 size look how cute okay my camera is crooked let's straighten that up so i don't have to do it with the book here we go <laughs> i know isn't it so I don't know. <clears throat> You'll have to contact uh, the artist to see how to order it. You'll probably have to uh, order it directly from her. It might be on Etsy, but I don't know. Melody, if she did, when she ordered uh, some copies of this, uh, probably ordered directly from the artist. and She might have got it from Etsy. It is Etsy. Okay, Sean says it is on Etsy. Okay, there we go. Someone wants to put a link or to say, you know, you could probably just go to Etsy and put in her name, I'm sure. Okay, so yeah, so cute. I'm trying to kind of, let me, let me, hang on. Let me go to the middle of the book and break this line here. It's on her shop at Etsy. Thank you, Melody. There we go. Okay, it's not wanting to open. Let's try to get it open in the middle here. And I will, I'll just take, I'll cut out the pages that I want to color. <clears throat> Thank you, Terry. There's a link to her Etsy shop, guys. 
I will put a link. I will grab the link later and put it in the description box. Also, guys, if um, when I do, you know, three hour videos with and I leave the live chat up, <coughs> when I leave the live chat up, it can take an hour or so to fully render. So if you go back and watch this recording and it's not, you know, the full three hours or whatever, and, and that's mine or anybody that does long streams. Um, you have to just wait for it to fully render because it has to render the chat as well. So uh, just FYI, you know, you just got to kind of wait, uh, you know, maybe wait an hour. So I don't know which one I want to color. I have not decided. I just kind of, um, and I kind of try to keep my hand. I don't want anybody to, you know, screenshot and copy them. So I kind of keep my hand in the, it's, so people can't copy them. I like her. I like all of them. Um, I think some pan pastels would be good, especially on a large face. I don't know if I could get away with pan pastels with the cats, though. I, have to, I got my all my windows open and everything, so I don't know if I could get away with uh, pan pastels unless I lock the cats out. <clears throat> Hi, anybody I missed? My moon sun? Um, Melinda, I know, aren't they so cute? The big eyes and everything. I like some of the little mushrooms. Um, I probably should color something fairly large because it shows up on camera better. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've used Pam Pastels because it's hard to do with the cats. I like her. She has, uh, she has the braids. <clears throat> Happy hump day, B. Anybody else? So, you know, just kind of <clears throat> looking them over. Oh, this is sweet, too. Xandra probably needs this. Okay, what's this? Do you have a. Oh, okay. So, specials. These must be special. Uh, it's in German. Does, does anybody read German? Does anybody want to tell me what this says if you read German? Her new fairy tale book. Book is single size. She has a new fairy tale book. Okay, thanks, thanks, Sean. Have you do you have it? Have you colored in it, Sean? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I do too, Gazelle. They're sample from her daughter's book of the sea. Okay, thank you, Honor. Okay. They're all just adorbs. Yeah, these these eyes look a little different, don't they? Yeah. It means daughter of the sea. Okay. Well, I wonder. I guess she just did different kind of eyes on the daughter of the sea. They're a little bit more, I don't know, um, almond shape. I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. It's hard to tell. <laughs> okay. So there we go. I don't know which one I want to do yet. Um, I like this one. I like them all. It's hard to pick. Thank you. Thank you, May. May translated. Daughter of the sea. So I, it's just probably the, the daughters. It's not like her daughter. It's like the daughters of these or, you know, like a special book. The very last page is single-sided. Okay. The very last page is single-sided. So this one we could do markers with. We could do markers with this one. Okay, so let's see. Um, I let me let me real quick guys test on the on a blank paper here. I want to test the uh, the water brush markers because I want to see if they'll lay down without being um, what do you call it on on some uh, Nick. Nick Filbert's books, Serene. We tried this with on Serene and the paper. I don't know. Dif different papers from different places are very uh, weird. You know, <laughs> it's just you got to test them all. But this looks like it's good. This looks like it's okay. Let me get another. It doesn't seem to be uh, modelly. You know, it seems to be uh, consistently consistent color. It doesn't seem to be um, getting that modeled, you know, look. 
so I think we're good on, or I think we're good on this. <clears throat> but let's see, which one do we want to do? I like her. I like them all. I like them all. And of course, you know, I'm going to do pencil uh, shading. So let's see. This, I guess that's supposed to be a peacock here. I really like her, a little bird. I find our cheese that only works on hot pressed watercolor papers for the most part. Uh, I don't know. I think it just depends on if the paper has that soak up kind of thing going on. Uh, I, they should work on um, any kind of smooth paper. It, it looks fine. That looks fine. This is not watercolor paper. All right, let's see. I don't know. Maybe I should do her and her dreadlocks. Kind of like her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like her too. What do y'all think? Should we, we attempt the dreadlocks? Maybe some grays and blue, dark, you know, like highlighted blue. Oh, thanks, Terry. Hi, Faithful Mass. <laughs> okay, well, we can do, well, we can do her. We can attempt, or we'll attempt her. All right, so let me go ahead and I do need to, hang on, guys. I do need, I keep putting it off change the blade in my uh, knife here. I bought some fresh blades because all my, I have two or three, two or three uh, exacto knives and they're all dull. So <clears throat> I don't know. Does Sammy have this book? I haven't seen it. Does she have this book? Sean? Hmm. I have not seen Sammy have this book. She did the one on the swing. Okay, I missed that video then. I missed that one. Okay, let's... Uh, <clears throat> switch this out. And then I always, because um, I push down in my garbage, and I put stuff in my garbage, I always want to make sure, and uh, you don't want to push down on this. <laughs> if you smash down your garbage, then I always put it at the very bottom. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to try to get in the center as far as I can. cut through a couple but it doesn't matter because any of them I do I'm going to cut out I'm going to cut them out regardless um okay honor uh all right oh yeah so I got all cut yeah and here this is a heavy duty knife here if you really want a heavy duty knife <laughs> got all kinds of them so i do a lot of i you know cut my own traveler's notebooks and other things okay so now let's see here um hang on guys let me move some stuff around behind me so i'm not um let me show y'all let me find something real quick let me find something real quick here So if y'all have seen me do Jasmine's Girls before and um, on my Jasmine Mermaid, 
this girl did not have braids. She did not have braids. She did not have dreadlocks. Um, she just had flat, plain hair. But I turned her, because I've turned her into a dark skinned girl, I made her have pretty braids. Now, how this really worked out well is this is acrylic paint. Okay, this is acrylic paint, and that, and therefore, the pencil will go on top of it well. So um, I don't know how well it will work. That same kind of like technique will work with the watercolor. So I'm wondering if I want to do some paint. I think I'm gonna. I might do acrylic paint on the hair. I might do acrylic paint. We'll just do a mixed media piece. We'll just do mixed media. Um, yeah, May, um, the only book that I've found that watercolor really does not work in is Serene. <coughs> I'll, I'll, let me see if I can. And I got all my serene pieces in here I love this one and I really like that one this one's okay this one's okay I like this one that one I gotta finish this one I have to finish okay so somewhere in here we did a test on a we started using we started using um, watercolor on something here I think yeah <clears throat> okay so here look look what watercolor see how that looks modely <coughs> <coughs> sip of juice guys hang on look at that see how that modeled can you see it's not it's not uh, flat color. Oh, there you can see it better there. And I don't know why it just kind of soaks into um, soaks into the paper weird with the watercolor. So it's about to be summertime. Low maintenance hair extensions sound like a good idea. <laughs> ah, faithful. Oh. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we might paint her hair first <laughs> with acrylic and acrylic wash. And then we'll tr we'll do everything else as a base. Well, I don't know. Maybe we could try. We could try to do. Um, we could try to do it with. Uh, I just know that with acrylic paint that the yeah splotchy terry looks splotchy i just know with acrylic paint that the pencil works excellent over you know so let's see let's think about it i haven't pulled any colors yet so we will do some tests over here it's kind of burnt orange and these um these are all new to me guys my um and you know what i think i'm gonna do i think i might try to use uh, let me clean this out because this is gouache here let me get a couple of uh baby wipes At least clean enough spot right there to work in. Okay, so I think we'll try that. Now I'm gonna decide on the hair. Well, we'll go ahead and try with marker. <clears throat> We'll try with marker. Again, I haven't used these for really anything, <clears throat> tested them out a lot or anything like that. So I'm going to pull a few colors here. Um, I'm just testing them here, like that one. 
I'm sorry about my voice this morning, guys. I usually get it crack a lacking fairly uh, quickly. All right, so you even on dark skin girls, I start light. I start light and I build it up. Those two look good with maybe a little bit of this um, sienna color in there. <clears throat> Do you color the table? This is this is paper. Are you asking this? This is this is paper. Yes, yeah, I have stacks of uh, cardstock uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> I got juice, Kenny. Yeah, I got my juice right. I got coffee and juice. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Also have. I like the way they did her shading here now you gotta remember guys her art is what is uh oil this is oil painting according to her her business card this is oil painting <clears throat> so what do y'all think um she did she did her hair pink i don't know i kind of like i, I kind of like a real color but at the same time it might be kind of cool to do you know, because it's undersea, what do you call it, um, fantasy, to do something colorful, chirpy image. You got different prints. Yeah, she sent me some postcards. Um, who? Well, she sent them, but I don't know. I think it was Kenny that sent the book. I mean, uh, not Kenny, Melody. Ask Kenny first, because Kenny messaged me. She says she has something coming to me. But uh, Melody, I think Melody's the one that sent these. But there was there was no um, a gift card. Streaks of color. Mm. I'm thinking we just you know we're just now deciding on the page. All right, let me do her skin first or starter skin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put just lay down a just a nice flat base of a light color. And because we will, dark skin girls have highlights too. So you have to leave areas where you can leave a highlight or, you know, you can paint it in or you can, um, what do you call it? Um, Posca, you can do other things to keep get the highlights. For me, I just find it easier. That looks like one. Okay, so um, I wonder if I want to hmm, make her some colors in her. I'm gonna I'm gonna find all the skin first, and the and this watercolor is going down just fine on here. It's not sinking in and modeling. You know what I mean? Um, it's not for me. You All right. Melody said it's not from her. Yours is the new fairy. Oh, so Melody's sending me the new fairy tale one. Oh, thank you, Melody. Oh, okay, Sean. Yeah, this is the first time I've had any of... of uh, is it Kristen? Christine? How do you say her name? Let me get her business card. And I want to keep showing y'all her little um, business card here. It's Mystic Art Mirror. Surrealism, manga, oil painting, art. Christian. Christine. Kristen. It's T-I-N. Kristen Glorious Inc. So, and she does have an Etsy. So, and we will put a link, the Etsy link. Um. in the description box afterward. All right, so we'll see how we wanna do this. And this is usually how I color everything. I, um, I just kinda of go for it. Not a lot of planning. All right, so this is, um, I probably need to kinda of smooth this out. It's, it's not modeling. But it is watercolor, so you you know you got to consider that it is watercolor. 
All right, got a base coat on there. And we're going to be doing pencil too. So, <clears throat> yeah, these are Arteza and I'm not used to them. Not, you know, they're new to me too. All right, so let's see here. I think I want to do a couple things. I'm going to put some down here. Let's start with a nice, let's start with a little bit of not too much. Um, if you put it on a, on something, then you're picking up less, which is what I'm trying to do. You have, have more control of the paint. And you do, it is watercolor, so you want to dry between, because even though this is a heavy cardstock, it will peel. You will, you will peel up the paper if you get it too saturated. So what you need to do is dry in between the layers. Okay. See how it's starting to shade a little bit there? <clears throat> Okay, and I do like the way she does a lot of darks around the eye. So we're going to kind of roll with that. And I always do the blacks of the, in the eye or anything that's black, like, you know, the eyebrows, the black in the bird's eye, the pupil. And I go over that with a Sharpie pen or a Faber-Castell pit pen because the, it's never black enough. The ink is never black enough. So, yeah, I'm just building up some layers here. Remember, if you all have questions, put it in caps. <clears throat> Hi G, how you doing? And I'm not squeezing any water out. I'm just, um, I'm using a water brush, but I'm not squeezing any extra water. I'm just picking up here. Doing, doing. <laughs> I know Melody is, isn't she? Yeah, I just, I do just dive <laughs> I just dive in. That's for sure, Sean. I just dive in. I figure if something doesn't work out, <clears throat> then uh, y'all know what not to do. <laughs> but I don't know. I just don't. I just want to, you know, I haven't used these markers much a couple of times and, you know, nothing major. And um, so, but you got to just dive in if you want to learn. And, um, not be afraid. Now this will probably have a, you know, come right up to the edge there. So, um, so I'm just building it up here, and then I'll, I'll go back again, add some more as it dries. Hi, Bridget. All right, let's just let let's let the skin set for a minute because you know and I'll have to dry it. Uh, let me get a. I usually clean my uh, water brush with a Kleenex. 
because it just kind of pulls off the excess paint really easily. So Kleenex is good for it. It's better than a paper towel. Okay, so we'll start with that. And then go decide on the feathers, the hair, the beads. Do I want, um, what color hair do I want? I want some like, oh. She's a, like a mermaid. I don't know if I want like blue feathers, blue hair, purple feathers, or a blue bird. Maybe a blue bird and blue feathers. And then, I don't know, what color? Do y'all want pink or purple or just regular color hair? I want to try to keep it nice and bright and happy. You know, let's just <clears throat> see what blues like. I like that blue better than this cerulean color. Although that looks kind of mermaid color. You know, that light cerulean blue. Hi, Gan Gannette. You want pink hair? I don't know. Y'all have different opinions. <sighs> because it's a, you know, it's a mermaid girl. We kind of want her to be, um, you know, undersea. Well, I want to do the bird. I think I'm going to do the bird blue, like a nice little tealy blue. It's just a base. Got to get him get a base. Some girls are saying purple hair. So y'all are all over the place. All right, and then I want these feathers. I could probably just put some on directly. Get a nice base of a little bit darker. Hi, Lucia, Desiree. I know I'm missing people. Purple hair that gradiates to pink. <laughs> well, I could, because they're like dreadlocks, I could put purple hair with pink, like, highlights, if you will. And I'll do most of that kind of shade, you know, special shading with pencil, guys. This is like my base coat here. Okay. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, everybody say pink wraps. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Wait, I put the wrong thing on. This cap goes with this. <laughs> oh, these two are the clean color here. I'm also I also have some clean colors in here and the Arteza. So I have I'm just grabbing out of the thing. Okay, so let's see. I don't want this blue. I don't want this dark blue. We'll be using that. I like this color. All right, now well, I've got the beads too. So if I do purple and then into pink, I'm still thinking that be the easy. Oh wait, I got another feather there. Uh, I, I'm still thinking the easiest would be with acrylic paint. Uh, let me do a little test here. Let me test these little babies out. Uh, on, on over here. Let's get some purple. Let's see. Um, do I like more of the red purple or do I want to like the purple? Blue purple or the red purple? I kind of like that. I actually like them both. I kind of like them both. I don't know how well I can blend them, though. 
have to probably blend them in the in here. I'm thinking those colors. Yeah, blue was the yeah was the clean color marker. Yeah, I just pulled that. One. <laughs> okay, so I'm thinking these two colors would be good hair color. Um, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so do I want to just go right in? Let's do a test here. Let's do a couple spots. See how well they'll blend. I might have to go in and get water, you know, water it down. Let's test. This is going to be the light color here. Not really looking at chat for a minute, guys, trying to. Yeah, they are pretty colors, aren't they? Just going to do one little section at a time. Get rid of the lids. Flip back and forth. Let's get off a little. Little um, slips there, and then I've got her jewelry, and I got these beads, which those could be um, a color or they could be a metallic. All right, so now what I want to do is I'll do one little, little, little braid at a time. I don't, think be, I don't know if you call these just dreadlocks or you call them braids. Let me girls help me because they're not really braids, they're dreadlocks, they're they're twisted, they're not woven. I mean they're not braided. So I'm gonna do the highlight on each one and then go in and do the side, and then we'll do the rest shading. I don't want to get a base down. They are just dreads. Okay. I don't really want it to say it right, you know. Because the shadows are going to be on the, the light purple is going to be the like the top end. I'm going to have dark down here, here. Many people also call them locks. Okay, locks. We're going to add detail to them, but I got to get the base cut on. Same thing for a skin. We're going to go back to that in a minute. <clears throat> Tatty twists, tatty twists. I don't think I've ever heard it called that. You're in UK though, Sean, right? Is that what they say in UK? I don't think I've ever heard that one. I'm kind of half looking at chat, guys, because I have I want to keep a wet edge here. And I'm putting these two colors down so they kind of feather together.
<clears throat> They're great. They are Arteza watercolor, watercolor markers, water brush markers. Yeah, he's Sean's in UK, so maybe they have call him something different there. I don't know. I'm just going back and forth to make sure I keep some of this light color in here. We can zoom in one more here. How's that? Is that a little better? There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've never heard of it either. She's in the UK. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then I think I'll have the little heart here be purple. Um, I think I'll have her fingernail. See, I like to coordinate everything. You know, she's going to be color coordinated. There we go. And she'll probably have some purple hint in her lips too. I might even, I don't know what she could have. Pur she had purple eyes in the, in the deep blue sea. You know, these are all mermaid fantasy girls, so we can do them any way we want. Okay, keep rolling here. Um, let's see. I'm going to decide on the beads too. But I like using whatever works. You know, put some base down of acrylic, water down acrylic, put some base down of watercolor, pan pastel, you know, whatever you want to use. And then go in there with pencil or whatever. All right. I was trying to say, I made it, you made it up. No wonder we never heard of it before, Sean. You made it up. <laughs> All right. Now I got to think about the beads. Let me go ahead and uh, do her eyes with them. Hey, yeah, let me get a black um, favorite cast. Oh, here we go. Brush pen because they're kind of big, so I can do them. Because the black ink of a um, printing is usually never really truly dark black, you know. I'll see if I can hold this up. I'll do half of it so you can see. Can you all see the difference there? See the difference in the black? How that's much blacker than the printing ink? And this is a, a Faber-Castell pit pen, so it's permanent. She has a little crescent moon there. Let's do that in blue. All right. I don't know. What color, what color eyes do we want? Do we want blue eyes, purple eyes? What color? Maybe... I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with blue eyes. Or a fantasy girl there, and then of course I'll shade with pencil. All right, now the beads. We want another color to go. Do I want gold beads? Do I want? I'm kind of thinking I'm liking gold beads. I think I'm gonna go with gold. Oh, hi, Gary. I was going to school run. Okay. See you after you get back from your school run. Drive safely. Um, <laughs> Faith, 
Caddy Faith. <laughs> you're a mess. You're a mess, Faithful. Okay, let's see. Um, do I want to start with maybe? Let's see how good a gold Posca looks here. I think I'm going to go with gold, and then we'll we'll do some highlights or shading on the gold. We could also put stickles. We could put gold stickles on top of the. I don't know why I got this big Mama Jamba one. I have a smaller one somewhere. <laughs> I picked out the big thick one. <laughs> I got another smaller one here somewhere. That was a little better. <laughs> Tiny little beads, and I'm trying to do it. Uh, anyway, we could put stickles. On the gold as well. So that stands out a little. <laughs> We're getting there, guys. And then she's got this. I'm guessing that's going to be a gold um, piercing there. She's going to have a gold earring. Okay, let me get, get back over here on the skin in a minute. But we got a nice base down with the uh, Arteza and real brush marker. I used the blue as a real brush. I just happened to, I would have used the Arteza, but I didn't even notice that I picked out one real brush um, zig. So again, if y'all just join us, this is the book I'm working out of. This is the book I'm working out of here. Mermaid and, Mermaid and Friends coloring book. And it's by Mystic Art Mirrors. She's on Etsy. And I will put a link in the description after the video renders. Let's see if anybody say anything to me. Thank you. There's Terry just put in the Etsy link too, guys, if you want to. Go look at it. And uh, Melody said she sent, sent me the uh, fairy her, the fairy book by the same artist. So when we get that one, we'll color in that too. Okay. There's a nice little base. All right. Now let's go back in with another layer of... Um, let's see how much I can get. I don't, I don't want to make it... I don't want to make it um, jaggedy. I gotta keep this smooth, and if that means laying it down with uh, in the t in the in the tray here and picking it up. Let's see here, a little bit of shadow here. I'm not sure if that's a piercing. Do y'all think that's a piercing or just the underneath of her nose? Should I make that a piercing? Oh. Sorry, Honor, that was for whatever reason. was. Uh, you think it's a piercing? Okay, we'll go with a gold piercing. Okay, And I'm going to do her eyelashes with, you know, pen and all that too. So... this is dry now after our initial layer. So again, <coughs> these are the Arteza. I'm going to blend that out right there. I better test that make sure I can blend it out.
I'm just laying this paint down, not even making sure it can blend easily on the piece. All right, let's see here. Hopefully, hopefully I can blend it. Yeah, there we go. It is blending out, but I do want to be careful not to peel the paper. So I'll let it, you know, dry or hit it with the heat gun one. This right here needs some more soft blend right there. Okay, let's see what's going on. Hi, Debbie, Danielle, Devin, Sharon, Becky or Steve. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody's congratulating Faith on something. Hi, Wanda. But I missed what it was. Lou. Oh, wait. So you're going to kind of really need to catch that while it's damp. Not let that dry if you want to feather it in. I'm not squeezing out any water. I'm just dragging the brush over it. I got your envelope. Oh, yeah. Um, I saw that on, I think I saw it on uh, Instagram. I think I commented. I thought I did. You're welcome. Thanks for supporting the channel. Okay, I'm gonna have to let this dry or hit it with the heat gun because I don't want to. I don't want it to peel. Let's smooth this out a little. Okay, smoothing it out a little. Okay, let's see. Let me look at chat for a minute. Look, let me look at her for a minute. I'm thinking that the little freckles might need to be... Oh, my watch is telling me it's time to stand up. <laughs> um, oh, wait, I need to clean that off. You know, because she's a mermaid and it's like some kind of scales... You know, some kind of representation of scales, I'm thinking. So I think they need to be another, a separate color, like maybe some purple. Hmm. Hmm. All right, let me, uh, let me dry this real quick, guys, so I'm not peeling. <laughs> I'm gonna dry on the back, too, to make sure it's all the way through. I think I want I think I want to do some kind of like purple let's see if I can pull this off if I put some down 
and then kind of try to blend it in. Like some, some kind of some kind of scales like her on her. You know, she's a mermaid, right? It may not work, but we're gonna try. You don't know till you try. And then I'll do the little dots like even darker after it's done. After what you know, the base. Might as well have a little watercolory look. I don't, know. I don't want her to look like she's got the measles or something, but you know. All right, let's see. Let's put some here. And make it watercolor modely looking. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm liking it on her face. But we've done it, so <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Purple metallic gel pen or ruby shimmer. Um yeah, I could do um, I could do all that. Let's just get a first layer here. We can always add more. It's hard to take away. Right. We could also do. Let's go ahead and do. Whoops. Let's go ahead and put some like purple, just floaty stuff in in some of these dots behind her. Make it kind of watercolory in the background. Maybe pick up a little from her hair there. Something like that, you know. Put a little down, move it around. We've still got to get back into her hair and everything here. Maybe just smooth some of that out. Just a little. It looks like she has some kind of measles or something. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Shimmer it up. Probably put shimmer on her. <laughs> I didn't know if it would work. I don't know. I just thought, well, we can try. You know, we'll see. We'll see what we can do with it. All right, <clears throat> we'll see what we can do. We can try and make it work. All right, let's dry it. And then we're gonna work on our hair. We'll see how, um, how well my pencils are gonna work on the, on the Arteza. Because if you know, I can always blend it out with pencil. Uh oh, I'm getting a little somehow my video looking jumpy to you. It looked a little jumpy for a minute. Uh, I'm gonna try Devin. You can fix her rash with pan pastel. I could do pan pastel. Okay, my a little bit jumpy. Okay, it is a little bit jumpy for me, but it did it a minute ago, but then it stopped. So hopefully it'll stop. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, let's get a couple pencils. I'm gonna uh, let's do our let's work on our hair. I think I want to try that first. So I'm gonna need that kind of a. Let me see this color. Yeah, it's. It, Everybody doesn't seem to see it, but I can kind of see it. You had it on Monday, Sean. Well, hi, Sammy. We're working with a girl that looks like I gave her the measles, but we're going we're gonna to work on it. All right, let's see. <laughs> All right, let me get my two purples here for her hair. 
and then let's see some white let's give it let's try, try some highlights here let's see what we can do okay um all right let's give her some highlights here we'll test it on the bangs and then i'll go into the into the dreadlocks there <clears throat> Yeah, it's kind of jumpy. It's weird. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down some white. I'm going to do a couple tests here. I want to see how the Artezas go over the pencil here. I'm going to do a little test. So I'm going to put some pencil down first, and I could put Posca too. But I'm going to test this first. All right, let's see. Let's put some. Where's my purple? Where'd it go? Here we go. Here it is. Let me test this out here. Let me see if it goes over, if it's going to beat up. So I just want to do a little test. And you shouldn't buy test on the piece, test on the back page. Okay, I think I'll go with some Posca. Because it's, it's really just covering it up. It's not really laying on top of it. All right, let's dry. Now, this is our test page. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Where's my pasta? Well, I think I need to get out another pasta. This one kind of quit working on me yesterday. Let's see. Get a different one. I know I got one here somewhere. Come on, guys. I'm find a pasta or a sharpie, either one. There's a sharpie. I got some pastas and sharpies laying around here. Grab whatever here. Let's get this one. Oh my gosh, that's really bugging me that it's um kind of jerky. Let's see. Who? Mr. Mischief. You mean my cat? Okay, this one's not wanting to work. I got another one in the other room because I was working on it in there. Let me go find my other Posca's guys. Hang on. You mean the cat? Yeah, he, they're around here somewhere. All right, let's see here. Oh, I hate that my I'm lagging to myself. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down as my highlight here and go back over it. Remember, I'm using watercolors here. Okay, well, there's somebody that can... Would one of the mods... Are there any mods here? Um... Are all my mods gone? <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Terry got it. I'll play with this for a little bit. Thanks, guys. Now they're there. They just, I, I just saw that comment and I thought, my mods are usually catching things pretty quick. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do pencil. So let's see here. Let's 
So let's go ahead and get these in this nice highlights on the flat, um, these flat flips, little flips in her hair here. And it does, you know, Posca is kind of, it does want to kind of sink into the watercolor a little bit. So we'll see how this is going to work. I'm going to go on the tops of all the little uh, flips there so they'll stand out. And I'll go back over them with pencil or another layer of watercolor. We'll do a test. I'm going to go in there and shade too. But I want each one to look like it's bending a different way, right? So again, guys, we're just testing out the Arteza brush watercolor markers or paint pen. No, well, they're not really paint brushes. I'm not sure what the official name is. Arteza real brush pen. They're calling them pens. I bought them a while back. And, uh, I haven't played with them very much. As you know, we've been on to other things. See how I want to get all the shapes of all the different ones. Yeah, so it must be something on YouTube then. Thanks, Pecola. So it's not just me. Something on YouTube. Okay, get all the little bends and twists here. In each one. Should do a question thing out of the book. I got my uh, 3000 question book. Something to if you want to chat about something, thanks everybody for being here and thanks for all the thumbs up. Thank you very much. Happy hump day, everybody. So nice out. It's been really cool. We enjoy it while we can because after the after a rainstorm comes through the Atlanta area, it gets rid of the humidity for a couple days <laughs> anyway. So it's nice, got all the windows open. Um, let's see, coffee break. Okay, I'm in Mama Four. Do the compared to the zig, the brush feels a little different. I can't really tell the difference between the paint itself, the watercolor itself, but the brushes are different. Here, let me see if I can. Where's the one I had out here? And let me get a color here. Um, let's get a color that's going to show up. Okay, so. First off, look at the difference in the size of the brush. So this one is not near as it's not near as floppy. Cause see how long the, the hairs are on this one? So it's softer and more floppy. So you gotta kinda you, you know you gotta kinda work on the get get it just pushed down on just the tip. If you push down all the way, see it kind of flares out. Can y'all see that? See? Okay. 
But if you just go with just the tip, you know, it comes out just fine. But if you put too much pressure, it breaks, if that makes sense. And then with the Kuretake Real Brush, see how short it is? So it's going to not flare out because it's just not as soft, right? So, you know, I can just do like that, right? Both of them have a very fine point. You can get a very fine line with either one, say. Either one, you can get a fine point. And I really can't, I don't know, there may be some kind of difference between the, um, does a zig, I don't have the whole uh, set of zigs, Cassie. You'd have to go look on, uh, you just have to go look at Blick or Amazon to see the colors that, um, that the zigs have because I don't have the full set of zigs. So I can't tell you that. But anyway, uh, it's because of the length of the hair right that this happens so like i said if i just keep it on the tip see but if i give it pressure it wants to flare out and this one's just too short to really flare out it just doesn't flare because it's so short but as far as the difference between the two watercolors i don't know i can't really tell so yeah all righty, so let's put the right lids on the right one here. Now, what I don't like about the Arteza is, and the, the Zig has a short little um, plastic bit sticking out. Let's see. But the Arteza, look, it has this big old this. Like if, you know, and if you like a clip, then that's good. But this is, gets in the way of putting them in the, uh, in a case. Now I know they do have a case. You can buy these with the case for probably 20 bucks more. I didn't buy them with the case. I just bought them in the box and put them in my case, but I have to skip every third one. Every third, every, every third one, I have to skip the little elastic because this is so thick. This is so big that up here, they don't fit. They fit fine here, but the tops are so fat with all this plastic on it that you, I have to skip every third one to get them to fit in here. Um, if that, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I think I'm going to move into some pencil because, uh, yeah, I want to fix her skin. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start. I'm going to go ahead and start with the, um, I think I'm going to do the little dots, kind of like more purple. Like I want a little bit darker purple on the dots, like it's intentional dots and not just uh, a skin flare up. <laughs> know what I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna smooth this out guys we're gonna make it work okay <laughs> so let's go ahead and put some dark purple first <laughs> and then we're gonna blend it out with the the uh what's it called process red yeah process red which is kind of like a raspberry color this purple color this red violet color i'm gonna go ahead and do her lips too while i'm right here let's do that let's put a little, where's my white here highlight Go back over that.
Can y'all see okay? At least the, the kind of laggy bit stopped for me. Just happened for a couple seconds, but... Same thing for these little dots around here. I'm going to do the same thing. Like it could be just something floating across her face. Maybe it's just some, some stuff floating around in the, in the water. <laughs> no, I want it to look kind of like scales or something on the skin, you know. Like she's got some kind of mermaid something going on. Scale something going on. <clears throat> okay. Now I'm going to go in and do the process red raspberry color. So we're going to start making this It'll still look a little watercolory, but it'll look a little more intentional, I think. <laughs> Oh, with my white pasta, I often have the problem that is really watery. Yeah, you got to shake them up. You got to shake them up. Even though you give it a good shake. I don't know then, Leah. I, I don't know. Uh, you got to shake them. And then if, I don't know. <laughs> I don't have, I've never had that really happen. Now I've had them shake so much. I've shaken them so much that they come, it starts coming out of the tip. You can't over shake them. I had to do the same in case with the artesian not going, but. To buy but pretty case yeah i didn't i just didn't want to spend the money on the case i didn't really need the case i have pencil cases so i said well i'll just put them in the pencil cases um i'm do, just taking my time here and doing this very lightly We'll go back in with the brown, too. <clears throat> Let's see how much I can blend it. Do a few layers. <laughs> it looks like she's going to have a, a mask on. Um, um, I might have to just roll with that. See, I tried something different. It didn't really work too well. I think it would be fine if it was here. See how it works okay on here? On here? It works okay on the skin, but on the face, it just makes her like she has like some kind of acne or something. <laughs> you know, we're going to keep going. We're going to keep rolling. We'll see what we can do. If you know what, if anything else, I can take acrylic paint and paint the whole thing out and start over. But I didn't really want to do that. You know, I just want to, we're just playing out with some different materials. You don't know if you don't try. But if you are afraid you're going to mess it up, do test it on the back page, guys. Do test it on, or on something else, you know. Don't don't test it on your piece if you're, if you're afraid of mess. If you're afraid that you're going to mess it up and you care if you mess it up, you know, then, then you know, <laughs> don't do it. Um, you got this girl, trust me. Um, I don't want to do, I have, um. I've done some pointillism. I don't enjoy it. I've also done scribble art, um, like little tiny scribbles. 
I'll have to go get my uh, piece off the wall. It's, I don't have a lot of my art sitting around the house because I don't like to get stuck in a style. I don't like to get stuck in a, in a, in a time of what kind of art I'm doing at the time. But there's this one piece that I did do that I have hanging in my living room downstairs on the wall. That took me, I think it was 20, I think 22 hours. Let me go get it because I need to get some more juice anyway. See, now I'm starting to like her a little better now that she's getting, now that uh, she's getting another skin tone. And then I'm going to do brown too. I'm going to blend this into the, in brown. So for instance, let me get a, I don't know if this is dark enough. Okay. So I'm going to start shading here, like under here. And these are going to kind of come together. See what I mean, Vern? I'll start doing some blending here with the dark. I still have to get back to her hair, too. So I want to start shading with the... Because I want her skin to be fairly dark. But I always start, even with dark skin, I start very light. So I can build it up and not, and have it still have shading, right? So we'll get there. It's getting there. <laughs> oh, you, yeah, the girl, the Julie knows. All right, let me go get some juice, guys, and I'll, I'll bring it up. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, so I probably need to dust this. <laughs> it's a little dusty, not too bad. So this one I did, it's in pencil. It's, in, it's done on like a parchment kind of paper. It's like a off-white parchment paper. Catching my breath, guys. Ran up and down those stairs. It's like in an off white parchment like when I did calligraphy it's kind of like a calligraphy paper and I did it in pencil with one of these this is the kind of pencil I use right here one of these and some ink so the colors and in ink everything else is this and I did this when did I do it 1989 so I did this in 1989 so, and it's in a big frame. So, there she is. So, you see her little toes down there. So, this is all done with pencil. And it's from some kind of fashion girl. I didn't draw from, you know, a girl from life. It's some fashion girl. Um, 
but the whole piece, the whole piece is done like this. Let me show you. Like this. Little tiny, tiny swirls. That small, tiny. It's just like one, one, one step shy of pointillism. Little tiny swirls. So, but anyway, um, I did this back in 1989. See her hands there, probably. It's, but it's all it's all pencil. And so it's quite old. So I don't have very many of my pieces. I got them all in the closet. <laughs> I have a couple of them hanging up. That one, this, that one, I'll show you the boots. <clears throat> like dust this off. This one I have just in my hallway. And this is one of my watercolors that I've done. And I did this one in 1993. And I did this one for my, my mother-in-law's husband. They both passed away. So I got this back after Brad passed away. It was called Brad's Boots. I did this for Brad for his birthday one year. Um, these were his old work boots that he wore forever. And um, um, thanks, Sammy. I've just been at it for 50 years. But <laughs> so anyway, um, Try not to get the glare of the glass, but this one I did in 1993. And this is one of my few watercolors. Um, so I got this, I, I inherited this one back. Yeah, Brad, Brad Boots. But I don't have very many of them hanging in my house. I don't like to get stuck in a, like, I like that watercolor. So do I want all water? You know, I just want to keep moving. I want to keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> And uh, try new things and, you know, all right. So let's see. So let's get back. I did get me a knife, got me a full glass of cranberry juice here. But most of my, um, you know, I do so many commissions that I don't have, you know, I have pictures of them, but I don't have any of the, those originals. And, uh, But I do have a closet full of old stuff. I mean, like back from, you know, high school. I got some stuff back from um, not a whole lot from high school. I got quite a bit from my 20s. I've always done art, you know, no matter what. <laughs> I'm not having, you know, I haven't done it. Um, my my career was more in and I've had like a, I've moved 30 times in my life. I have probably had 30 different jobs. Because I, I grew up in the military and I married the military. So we moved a lot. And uh, so I've had all kinds of jobs. You know, banking, working in retail. And then, you know, then I went into um, visual merchandising, which is decorating department stores. And that's, I did that for a long time. One of your shows you should show us something. Um, you know, Danielle, I did that a few years. Well, I, I should say a few years. I probably did that about, I've been streaming for uh, around nine years now. And uh, not all on YouTube. Um, I was on Ustream before YouTube. And I did pull out some of my old art about eight years ago, maybe seven or eight years ago. But those videos are not on YouTube. That was before I was uploading to YouTube. I've only been uploading to YouTube, what, four, five years? Five years, I think I've been uploading to YouTube, but I was streaming for four years before that on Ustream. So all those, all those videos are not on YouTube. So, yeah, I could probably pull some out and show them. <laughs> Back from old days. All right, so I'm just putting down a little bit of layer of kind of blending out some of the purple into putting, you know, that kind of reddish lavender, I mean, um, red violet into her skin. And then we're going to go in and blend it out. Probably getting a little dark. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
if it doesn't turn out, then, oh, well, <laughs> you know, we learned something about, how, you know, I'd love to see your older ones. Oh, thanks, Susan. Yeah. Inspiration Station. Hi, Andrea. Anybody else popping in? So we're using a little bit of mixed media here. We, we started out with some uh, watercolor, the Arteza watercolor, real brush pen watercolors. And um, I try to do like a model-y looking kind of mermaid I, I mean I probably should go in there actually with the Posca and make these look like scales that's probably what I need to do so it doesn't look like she has a skin problem <laughs> right it'll start looking more like scales and I think I will do that but first I've got now I've got to blend up do all this blending first and then we'll get back in there we're going to make it work somehow if, even if I have to do her all, all her skin with mermaid scales. We're going to make her work. You always gave your old house. Yeah, I don't have a lot of high school stuff. Um. And again, you know, you, when you move 30 times in your life, things get lost, you know, things get lost. But Hubster has always been very supportive of my art. Um, so I really have been very blessed in that way. But I've always done art regardless of where we live. I know I've told this story before, but, um, you know, not a lot of money in the military. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And I've always worked, you know, when the girls were growing up. Um, but I always had an art, some place in art. Even if it was, I had a big wood board, like probably about as big as this table right here, this section of the table. You know, a big piece of wood plywood. And I stuck it under a windowsill. And sat on the floor, and that was my art desk. You know, I mean, I've always had an art desk, an art space. And then, uh, then there were times when, you know, we did okay, depending on, you know, what other supplemental jobs, you know, you have. And, um, you know, Hubster would come home and surprise me with a new drafting table or art box um, full of supplies and things like that. So I've always, he's always been very supportive of my art. And regardless of, you know, I've always, always worked when the kids were growing up. So um, there's a little mark on her face right there. I don't know what that is. I don't know if I can erase that. It's on her chin. It's like a little, makes it look like she has a scar. I don't think that's going away. I have to work with that kind of feather around it. It's a little line there. Well, I can't get rid of it, but we'll have to feather it in. Oh, nice, Susan. You're welcome, Honor. Thanks for being here. Have a good day. Thanks, everybody, for all the thumbs up. Yeah, Andrea, it really is. Okay, I'm going to just keep working here. I'm going to go back to her hair in a minute, take a break from the skin for a minute. But I just want to start making her a pretty mermaid here. All right, I'll stop right now for a minute. Um, let's do a little in her eyes. Let me get a couple blues here. What kind of blues do I want? I this peacock blue will be dark enough. Give it a little bit of extra oomph. And then let's go with the uh, extra highlights. All right, 
let's see, let's do the bird behind you. All right, let's see. Let's do that. Uh, that okay. Let me sharpen. All right, let's do a little. Let's do a little on the bird here. I'll do his little beak gold. And again, we might put some stickles or some, um, what do you call that stuff? Shimmery stuff? Where is my shimmery stuff here? Um, not, I have one of these open, some Wink of Stella. I don't know where it is. This is a new one. Oh, where's my other one? I got one open already. I didn't really want to open another one if I can find the one that's open but i'm not finding it so uh yeah and this is wing stella and this is the clear the clear oh, i'm kind of herky jerky again guys so what you do is you take the lid off here you unscrew this you take this little bit off take the little ring off put put this back in and what that does is that pushes the little poker thing into the <laughs> and then you start shaking it and doing a little bit of a squeezing it takes a minute here sorry guys let me come off camera because it's i'm kind of uh i'm just squeezing here trying to get it activated here but i'm there it goes so can you see it looks a little looks a little silvery uh Gosh, I hate when my can't when whatever is going on with YouTube. It's a little like oh, lagged. It's lagged to myself. But anyway, I'm gonna put some of this um, Wink of Stella in certain places. All right, so let's go back with the. Let me go with my white here. It stopped. It did it a minute ago, and it. Uh, it stopped, so we'll just wait and see if it stops here in a minute. So now I'm going to just kind of blend this light blue in here just a little. Hopefully it'll stop. If I don't look at it, I don't notice it. When I look at the, when I look at the screen, it looks a little um, laggy to me, and that usually is not the case. I usually have no lag for myself. Okay, a little bit of that. Now let's go back with a little bit of white Posca. Do a little bit of... And again, it's kind of like what I just did in her hair. You still see the white Posca in her hair. We're going to go back in there in a minute. And we'll do the same thing with this bird. The little feathers. We're gonna, I'm just kind of highlighting them a little. And we'll go back and fade them out. Okay. Let's do the same thing with her here. I'll shade a little. So everybody's having a good Wednesday, hump day. Okay. You got it. Bye, May. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for stopping in.
We'll get back to our hair in just a minute. I saw Sammy. Sammy got a new calligraphy set. I guess she's gonna you gonna do some callig learn some calligraphy, Sammy. It's fun. It does take practice, so you gotta be patient. And I did a lot of calligraphy back in the eighties when you know before we everybody could print fonts off on the computer. And. Uh, I don't really do much um, commissions anymore just for my local um, karate dojo certificates. But um, are, are you going to learn calligraphy with the calligraphy pens? Or are you wanting to do brush lettering, Sammy? You want to do brush lettering or both? Okay, so here we go. Got a little bit on the feathers there. All right, let me go back in here. Let me get my other pit pin here. These are um, waterproof, so let's see what Sammy's doing with the, um, you know what? I think I want a little bit of purple. I want to put a little bit of purple. I don't know that purple. I want the dark purple. What am I doing with it? Here we go. I need to put up some purple in her eyebrows. And then I'll go back over it with any with some black if I need to. Maybe Sammy left and I didn't see. All right, let's see. Let me get the nice uh oh, it's too orange. Let me get my pencils over here. Oh Sharpen. I love the brush lettering too, but I'm on the nib and ink book. Oh, okay. That's going to be too dark. A little bit lighter. Let's go with, I think this is uh, beige here to blend. I just need to blend now. Okay. I just wondered because I saw you got some new. Uh, no, nope, that's not right either. Let's go with. Uh, Okay, let's see. Let's go with the this maybe seashell. Thanks, Cheryl. We're working on it. Let's see if this will work. It's better. I just want to blend a little bit here. Oh, I can't stand that lag. I look up to look at my, my and I'm seeing myself just now moving. Uh, let's see. Let's go back with the, to go with a little bit more pink. So I wanted to, I wanted to look like a, you know, mermaid with scales. So I think I'm gonna have to do some scales in there. We'll just wait on that for a minute. Uh, it's my beautiful art to learn, but my notepad is lined in swirls, so I'm joining it up now. Yeah, you do do lots of practice. Learn, and you know whether you're doing um, the nib, the steel nib, or whether you're doing brush lettering. You got to get those strokes. You know, you got to practice getting. You know, like like the C stroke for a C. You know, you got to practice, practice all the strokes. I don't know if the book you have has like individual broke you know the strokes are broke out but those are the best a little jump i know it is natalie we don't know why sean said he had it on his the other day um i have i have no i don't think i have the watercolor pencils i don't have the jane davenport watercolor pencil susan so I i've never tried those okay let's see i have some of our regular pencils you know just pencils but no watercolor pencils i have her mermaid markers i like her mermaid markers but if you use a mermaid marker this is what her mermaid markers are um you don't want to use them straight from the tube because they'll splatter it's best to put it in the uh tray and pick it up 
Just saying on those. But they're very vibrant. I do like the mermaid markers. All right, let's see. Let's get back up into her hair. Um, I need my two purples here. You don't like them? Yeah, I don't, I've never tried their what the her watercolor pencils, so I, I can't really say. Oh, I can't look at the stream. It's, I wish it would stop it. It stopped earlier. It was just like lagging, and I'd look up and I'd see myself still moving. So we'll work on our hair for a few minutes. What's everybody else doing today? Anything creative? I know some of y'all are lurking from work, but if you're working on something, what are y'all working on? You all doing color book pages? Are you doing drawing, practicing, painting, knitting? What are y'all what are y'all doing? I'll try to kind of keep looking up. I just need to do one little section of hair at a time. Oh, Terry's baking, making keto foods. Oh, Artsy, you're making paper dolls. Do you post pictures? BDI Beth was making something birds. Let me see if I'm painting small birdhouses. Oh, do I hope y'all post your stuff on Instagram. Gary is doing a coloring challenge. Who is the one with Becky? Becky's coloring challenge, Gary. Oh, thank you. Call me happy. AKA Benny. Um, B is my color buddy page in Mythomorphia. Yeah, okay. So B is doing Becky's buddy color. Um, Robin is behind on her reviews. <laughs> and then she's going to color. She's going to catch up on that and then color Magimorphia. Uh, Sammy's pulling out Serene. I know. God, you, you, do you ever get tired of Serene? I have two of them, Sammy. I never get tired of coloring in Serene. Well, I'm, I'm working on the poster. <laughs> I'm working on the big, um, Nick's big poster. I am coming along on it. I just work on it. Uh, with my poster, what I'm doing is just leaving it when I'm not working on anything else. I leave it out on my table here and just, you know, come by and stop by and work on it a few minutes here and there. I will eventually get it finished and I will post. It's 24 by 34. It's huge, guys. Oh, it's not hard. Do you have a uh, artsy? Do you have a phone? Do you have a, a you know either a smartphone, iPhone? Do you have a phone? It's so easy to post, artsy. We can talk you through it in a heartbeat. Ah, uh, no, I got two and still in my. I know. I never get tired of serene, Sammy. I, if I had to pick one color book, that would be it. More than one, more than one copy though. <laughs> Bridget says, since I'm home today, working on a page from Magical Dawn. Okay, while watching the stream. Oh, you finally got Serene, Robin? Oh, my gosh. Don't be afraid to work in it now. If you're afraid to work in it, just make a copy of a section of it. You know, just make a cut on cardstock. Make a copy of a section of it to practice on if you're afraid of it. But oh, I love my Serene. Uh, Dragon just finished a page in Daydreams. It's so easy to take a phone, just take a picture with your phone, Artsy, and put it on Instagram. Are you are you not on Instagram? It's so easy, for real. It's easy. 
Faithful is a whip, work in progress Wednesday. Elaine's coloring with Prismacolor in flowers and gems. I love that. That's, uh, oh, uh, oh, I can't think of the name, flowers and gems. Gra Gracia, oh, can't think of the artist. Uh, little Sister Cheryl's going to find one of my color books. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Bacola. There's April Sarah's color book list of streamers. Uh, hi, Amber. Let's see. <laughs> you look on. It's so easy, artsy, to put on Instagram. Seriously easy. Just have the Instagram app on your phone. And you just push a button and you're putting you're putting your stuff up on Instagram. And you can, if you need to crop it or anything, there's little tools there you can crop it. Um you can't figure out Instagram, Becky or Steve. Hi, Jean. All right, so let's keep going on the hair here. Um Okay, let's do this little section here now, and I'll keep moving around. Okay, so now I'm going to go in here with my... Kind of doing one little dread at a time. So that it keeps a, a light kind of area in the front, in the middle there. I can always go back in there with some more Posca if I need to. Hey, Katrina. Thank you. We had a little, I had a little skin issue here trying to put the purple scales, but I think what I'm going to do is go back in with the Posca and make actual scales on her face. So it looks like scales and not like, you know, some kind of skin problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because uh, I tried to just use the dots that were in the, the, that the artist had on there, had the little dots, like, you know, like kind of like mermaid scale something or another. But then I started trying to blend it in with the watercolor pencil. I mean, watercolor markers, and it got away from me. So now I got to go in there and, and actually make scales. But I, I'm taking a break on the skin to work a little bit on the hair here. <laughs> Mer makeup. Oh, I like that, Sammy. Mer makeup. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, mer makeup. But yeah, you you don't want your mer makeup to look like you have, you know, skin issues. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let me sharpen both these pencils over here. <laughs> mer makeup. I like that. <laughs> Hi Sparkle. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get back in here. So can y'all, you guys that are in Becky's coloring challenge, are you allowed to say what you're working on or do y'all have to all make it a surprise at the end? Like nobody is supposed to know what you, the two, you're paired up. Um, Becky paired up two people, two people, two people, you know, and then they have to do the same thing together. But are you guys allowed to talk about or tell anybody else what you're working on? Yeah, I know, Donna. That's what we're trying to avoid. Yeah, they're, I'm going to turn them into scales in a minute. I'm going to turn them into scales. So are you guys allowed to... Um, uh, to tell anybody they've been showing them. Okay, thanks, thanks. I, I mean, I see everybody's coloring pages, but and 
I don't know whether they're really, you know, part of the challenge or not. So I wasn't sure. Okay. Are they hashtagging them something, Becky, uh, Becky's challenge, or what are they hashtagging it? So I can specifically to look for those. I'm trying to catch that. So I can go look at them. Or if y'all tell me the hashtag, I'll go look right now. If somebody will tell me the hashtag. I'm doing one little section at a time here. And then I still might go back in there with Posca. But you see, I'm going over the white Posca right here. And see, it's turning it pink. Anybody? Anybody got a hashtag for the Becky's challenge? <laughs> no, Terry. I didn't know you're not in the challenge. What I meant was the people that are hashtagging Becky's challenge on Instagram. What's the name of the hashtag? Oh, Terry. Okay. I, I just want to know the name. Okay. Becky's buddy color, maybe. Okay. Let me look. Thanks, Robin. Or B, rather. Whoever said that. Becky's buddy color. Let's test that out. Let's hash. Let's try that. Okay. Hashtag Becky. With a Z, it's Becky's with a Z. Buddy, buddy color, buddy. No, it's not even coming up as Becky's buddy. Let's just try Becky. No, Becky's community buddy color. Could that be it? Becky's community but buddy. Is that it? Let's see. Okay, thanks, Shara. All right, let's see who we got here. All right, so we have two people here, and I, some of these people I don't know, but I'm going to show y'all some of the comparisons, okay? So here is G Jenny, Jenny6994. I don't get too close because I have autofocus off. And then we have, here is her, uh, her partner, I guess, is Friends Van Buren, Ben Newen? I don't know, I can't pronounce it. Friends Van Bu, I don't know. You can see it right there. So there's there's those two. Let's see what else. Um, all right, so that one's not done. Um, there's only a couple here. There's only 12 posts. So I guess everybody's still working on it. I guess everybody's still working. Nobody's got, other than that one, nobody's doubled up yet. So, yeah. So some of you girls here are working on that. She's going to do a slideshow at the end. Thanks, Sammy. I just thought I'd show a couple if anybody, because some of you guys here are working on it. So I thought I'd shout you guys out. Sharpening. Sharpening over here to the side in my little, have my little bowl here. Just so I don't shake the table. Mine, but posting when Buddy is finished. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just doing a little section at a time. I already put down white Posca. Now I'm coloring over it. And it doesn't make the white go, it makes the white go away, but it's still bright. And I, st and I might do another layer of that too, if I want even more brights. So it's doing one little section at a time here. Janet, are you around? Um, tonight's the final on Survivor. Does anybody else watch Survivor? 
Tonight's the two-hour final. I'm just doing a little section at a time. We'll get back over to the skin in a minute. I'm just kind of going back and forth between the two. Joe, he's on still on the island. He's on well, it's not called Exile. What's it called? Uh, he's on. He's one of the ones on the island. They still have a chance, but we don't know what they have to do to get back in the game. They're still on that island, hoping for another chance. Joe and half the team, half, everybody that got kicked off. Well, I take that back. I think two people decided to leave when they got kicked off. If you got kicked off on. Um, on the, uh, you know, in the, in the, at the end, you know, where Jeff's there talking to everybody, what's that called? You know, when they get kicked off, um, you, yeah. Edge of extinction. Thank you. Pacola extinction Island. Anyway. Um, when you got kicked off of the regular, uh, you know, group, you had a chance to either pick to go to the, uh, the Island or just to go home. And a couple people did go. But most all of them have stayed. And Joe is one that's still on that island. But we don't know what they're going to do to bring them back or to let one or two or I don't know. We don't know how many they're going to uh, uh, let try to have a chance to get back in the game or how that will work. So Joe is on that island with half the half the show. <laughs> Half the show's over on that island. So, yeah. I'm just going around and shading each one, one by one here. Well, go in and add more detail. Trying to get as much done as we can here today, guys. And again, if you missed, let me show it again. From Monday's show, when we worked in, because uh, I didn't finish it on Monday, but I did post it. When I worked in this one, I did, here's where I finished it. with, And I wanted to show you so you could see the stickles, because the stickles doesn't show up very well on a photograph. But I did, um, I did finish this. I painted the background black acrylic, threw on some stars, did a little bit of mist coming straight across the, glass and then the rest is all I stickled it all up um so yeah I did finish this one after the show just one makes yeah I figured only one or two would have a chance you know at the very very end um okay let's keep working here but anyway some of us watch it on uh we watch it and we're tweeting at the same time. So we all tweet with each other while we're watching it. And commenting and snarking. <laughs> Thanks, Kat. Hi, by the way. Stickles in HD. <laughs> makes you smile. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> And so I might go in with another layer of Posca extra highlight because, you know, we like extra. <laughs> but we'll see how far we get today. How many people are here? 149. Would y'all like me to do the giveaway today? You guys that have stuck around. 
I usually only give away, you know, I I'll only promise and I don't even, you know, I, I do my best to keep that. Um, one book a month, one book a month, but I know a couple of the girls are sending me some more books. So we'll have um, on the first Monday, the first Monday of every month. I mean, I'm sorry, back up, beep, beep, beep. The first Wednesday of every month, I do a book giveaway. But whoever sent me this one uh, from, and it could have been the artist. Melody said she didn't send me this one. She sent me the fairy girls. So let me show you guys here. This is the book we're working from. Well, this, I got two copies. Um, okay, well, Pacola, we'll wait till Pacola gets back. She's going to go get tea. I want my mods here if I'm going to do a giveaway. So you guys that have stuck around for the last two hours, you can be in the giveaway. So we'll, we'll, uh, I'll do this giveaway today. And um, so Melody says she didn't send me this one. So I don't know if the artist herself sent this or somebody else. Okay. Thanks, Terry. We're going to do it. As soon as Pacola gets back with her tea, we'll do it. Um, and uh, if you guys missed it, the artist is Mystic Art Mirrors, Surrealism Manga Oil Painting Art by Kristen C H R I S T I N Kristen Glorious Inc. And she's on Etsy. And I'll put a link to her Etsy. Uh, Terry just put it in there. I will put a link to the Etsy in the description box after the video finishes rendering. And I do have a couple of her business cards. So whoever wins it, I'll put the extra. Uh, I'll put an extra business card. It'll be in there in the middle. Whoever wins it there. It'll barely stick out. There we go. So Pull one of her business cards in there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> Holly D. So uh, yeah. So let me explain how the giveaway works. Don't put any numbers in. And if your number shows up as hidden or whatever the comment that comes up, don't put in more and more and more numbers. The mods will release your number. One number only. If you see somebody else has put in your number, you cannot go and take yours out and put another one in because it's the first person, the first person with the correct number without going over. Um, well, what kind of stamps, Faithful Miss? I got so many stamps I don't use. I need to sell my stamps like we did on Janet's show. <laughs> had a little auction on Janet's show. She got rid of a lot of her stamps. I need to do that. I seriously need to do that. I have so many stamps I don't use. Yeah, and Julie said, please refrain from, I'm, I'm bringing up, uh, I'm going to bring up uh, a random.org here. So you can put in, when I type in, when I type in go, one number only between one and 150. Let me get there. We'll do between one. Okay, so there's one and 150. Nobody put any numbers yet. I'm not going to generate yet, okay? <laughs> and um, the first person closest with, yeah, and go and make sure. That's a thank you, Pacola. Everybody look at the top of the chat right now. Look at the top of the chat and make sure you have live chat clicked. If you have top chat clicked, you are not going to see all the chat. Oh, postage stamps. Oh, okay, Faithful. Oh, okay. Yeah, for some collage, yeah. If you if you mean for me to cut them up or put them in collage. <laughs> Make sure you have live chat selected at the top because you will not see all the chat if you don't. And that's true of anybody's stream, guys. Whoever stream you're in, let me get a pin here. You're going to put in between 1 and 150, one number only, the first person closest without going over. Okay. Is that everybody got the rules? <laughs> Send email for, for real set. Okay. <laughs> oh, you want you want some real stamps? You have to you have to explain it to me later, Faithful, because I've got three conversations there going. So let me know what we're talking about. <laughs> 
All right, go everybody. A number between one and 150. Okay, I'll give everybody a minute, a couple of minutes. So see where it said show? The mods will click the show there. Your number will show up. The mod will click the word show. There's show and hide on some people's. The mods will un- Hide your number. You don't have to put it in again. Okay. <laughs> One number only, everybody. So, yeah, we'll give away this, uh, uh, my extra copy here. And again, I'm not sure if the artist sent it to me or if, if you're, whoever sent it to me wants to fess up um, and let me know if you sent it. Let me know. I appreciate you sending two copies so we could do a giveaway with one. And, uh, and if you, if the artist sent it to me, Thank you so much, Kristen, Christine. Thank you so much, whoever sent it. We're having fun. I'm having fun. It's a little test. It's a test with the skin here, but we're going to, you know, I'm going to scale it up here in a minute. <laughs> okay, everybody get your numbers in between 1 and 150. A couple more, you know, I'll give you another minute. Don't, don't lag. Don't, because once I put in stop, once I type in stop, no numbers after that count. So get them in. If you see numbers rolling by, it's time to put them in. <laughs> Everybody, it looks like uh, nobody else is putting in any numbers. All right, I'm going to count down. Last chance to put in a number. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, that's it. All right, so now we're going to we're going to do random.org between 1 and 150. Here we go. Generate 99. The person closest to 99 without going over. Okay? 99. And I will wait for at least 3 confirmations from the mods. Three mods will confirm or three people can confirm to me who the winner is. Okay. We have someone that had 98. Was she the first person with 98? And was there anybody with 99? We'll wait. It looks like it's so far. We got two confirmations. Deb Z Red had 98. So Deb Z Red. Had 98. Okay. Deb Z had 98. Did nobody had 99. Okay. So, Deb, email me your address. I will send it out on Saturday. I have another bunch of happy mail going out on Saturday. So, um, oh, she put in three numbers. Oh, Lizette had, wait, somebody had 99, Lysandra, wait, everybody, somebody said Lysandra had 99, then that's it, Lysandra then, we're going with Lysandra, she had 99, she got it right on the nose, okay, Lysandra, sorry guys, we got to get it right, yeah, you can't put, I said one number only, Oh, Lysandra had a hundred. Well, that doesn't count either. Okay, guys, let's let's go back and look again. Let's look again. Lysandra had a hundred. That doesn't count. No, it has to be 99. No, somebody said she had 99. She does not have 99. Okay, let's go back. Uh, if Deb had three numbers, that doesn't count either. You're only allowed to put in one number. I very clearly specify that. Yeah, it can't be over. It's without going over. I know it's always a, it's hurting cats, people. It's hurting cats. A hundred doesn't count. It has to be without going over. And you only can put in one number. If Deb put in three numbers, she's disqualified. So let's go just do it again. Who's the closest to 99 without going over? One number only. <laughs> Yeah, one number only. Sorry, guys. I, I, I say it every time. Yeah, I say it every time. 
Okay, so Gary's has somebody there that has 89. Y'all double check again. Sorry, guys, I got to follow my own rules. I have to follow my own rules. Okay, so we have Artsy Wannabe has 89. Okay, it looks like that's going to be, okay, Dan Dania had 89. Who had it first, Robin? Who had the 89 first? First person without going over. First person. <laughs> I only have one of these books, guys. We got to get it right. <laughs> we got to get it right. I only have one book to give away. Artsy had it first. Okay, so Artsy Wannabe. Email me your address. Artsy Wannabe is Nancy. Okay, so email me your address, Nancy. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think we got that, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm real, you know, I, I repeat, I repeat, I repeat the rules every time. One number, closest without going over, multiple numbers will be disqualified. So, yeah. So, Nancy, artsy wannabe, email me your address. Jean just put my email in there. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, Terry's got to go. Okay, wait, Terry. Let me say bye to Terry, and we'll finish our girl here. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. It's hurting cats, people. Hurting cats. Hang on, Terry. Okay, let's see. So let's say bye to Terry here. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, Terry, for the uh, helping with the hurting cats. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's go ahead and finish up our girl here. <laughs> uh, oh, Tanya, you got your book. In thing. Okay, thanks for letting me know. And guys, I do appreciate it. When you email me your address, you have my address. You have my email. When you get a book, please let me know you got it, especially if it's international. <laughs> let me know you got your book. When it's in, especially international, I have no way to track international. We hope for the best when it's international. I do ship out international to anybody that, you know, is in the drawing or that wins a drawing. But I do like to hear back if you got the book. <laughs> Just, you know, makes me feel like, okay, is it still floating around out there? Okay, so there we go. Let's go ahead and get back on her. Uh, let me see. Let me just test a little bit of white on top of this. I'm going to do some white on top of this purple and see if that makes it a little pink here. I'm trying to, you know, blend her skin here, and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to put scales. So let's do a couple. Yeah, I try to, I try to do my uh, giveaways as fairly as possible, guys, but you have to follow the rules. Got to follow the rules. Okay. Thanks, mods, for hurting cats. That's what we call it, guys. No offense. We don't no no offense to cats. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. She's got some wispy hairs coming across here. Let's see if we can get this kind of blended enough to put scales on top of. <clears throat> All righty, that's working out fairly well. Just kind of blending because I want to blend the brown and the purple together. I'm going to go back over her eyelashes here with my uh, Faber Castell pit pen. So I'm not really worried about like getting her eyelashes too whited out here because I'm going to go back over them. So let's just see here how we're going to. 
because I want to put the scales on. I still have her hair to finish, but we're, you know, I want to get all different parts of her done. And I will finish it and post pictures. I rarely finish a page on, on the show. You know, rarely finish, complete a full page um, on the show. And for those watching the recording, I will be doing another um, giveaway for people that, not today, not on this chat. Don't leave it on this one thinking you're going to get in a giveaway on this show. But I will soon do another, um, and I'll do another, uh, if you leave comment in the chat kind of thing, I will, uh, you know, do one of those kind of giveaways. So that if you're just able, you know, you're not able to be at the live show. I still like to include you guys in some of the giveaways as well. <clears throat> Wait for it. Wait for it, Sean. Gee, patience. Patience, grasshopper. And I want to keep working down the arm here, but I won't, I'll stop for now. I really want to work on the areas where there's going to be scales. This will just be blended out with brown and pink. Um, but I wanted the places where I'm going to put the scales to be finished before I put that on top. Um... Um, I don't know if it's barnacles or what they are. I don't know. Look, here, let's get, let me show you the cover of the book. See how she's got some little scales? Now, these are like growing up off of her skin here, right? And see, she's got some on her shoulder there. And she's got, she doesn't have any marks on her face. There's no dots or any marks on her face. This one had dots already on the face. This one had dots on the face, so I was trying to roll with the dots. But uh, we're going to turn them into scales. We're going to do that right now. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> okay, let's start on our shoulders. And what I'll do, I'm doing it in pos white Posca. But what I'm going to do is after this dries, I'll go back over it with a little bit of pink or purple, or both, and um, so they won't be white. They'll be, they'll be purple or pink, or both. Okay, so just wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. I'll hold it up here in a minute. Okay, something like that. <laughs> oh, oh, good, Artsy. You're going to get you some Artesia real brush. Yeah, I like them. See, now it looks like scales, right? <laughs> All right, now we're going to do her face. Okay, we're going to do her face. And again, I'm going to make them pink and purple. It won't be this bright white. I'm going to do her eyelashes next so you can see that. So I don't want to make sure I want to make sure that's dry before I don't want to rub my hand into those. Come 
going to do them kind of random too, a couple, two or three here or there. There's where we're heading, peeps. There's a few over here on the shoulder. I'm carrying them down a little few. Something like that. All right, let's go back to her eye now. Um, I want to couple a little extra white. She has these little dots. I'm going to kind of make those highlighted. All right, let's go with uh, some eyelashes now. Okay, and her eyebrows. I did paint them purple, but I want them to be a little more pronounced. Not Frida-esque, but, you know, a little bit more. And then we need to finish her hair. I don't want to stickle the beads. I'll do a few more little touches. Okay, I'm going to turn this while I do her lashes here. And they're already nice and long. I'm just going back over them to make them a little darker and just a tiny bit thicker, especially close to the lid. I'll probably put a little bit of sparkle on the eyelashes. Okay, see if you can see the difference between that one and that one. Bye, Janet. Thank you. Bye, Melody. Sleep well. No, it's late for you. Thanks, everybody that stopped in. Stuck around. Make sure that my pupil is nice and dark again. I'm just following pretty much the eyelashes that are there. She has these big fluffy spider, spider egg type eyelashes. Let's do a nice little eyeliner on her, too. She'd have some nice eyeliner if she's wearing these babies. <clears throat> so it's much better around the some of her eyes and lashes. Thank you, Malia, Malil. Bye, Jean. Okay, so let's see what else I want to add to her. I mean, I'm not obviously not going to finish her here, but uh, see what else we can touch up on. She's got the little 
piercing in her lip, piercing in her nose. Give that a little shadow there. And you can go into, let me sharpen this really well to show you here. Towards <laughs> Gina. So I'm going to go in here and add a little bit more scale shadowing. So down here where they're lighter, where it's fading, I'm going to use the light color or the light purple. And then where it's darker up here, I'll go in here with a darker purple. Let me sharpen. Got to have a nice point for these tiny little scales. Bye, Gary. Thanks for stopping in. Be safe out there. Just so they kind of stand out just a little bit more. Now that they're dry, I can probably go in there with a nice light pink. Let's see if I can do that. Maybe I should do that with a watercolor. Let's test. Let's see if I can do that with a watercolor. Where's my, where's that, um, oops, no, that's the darker one, I think. Where's the lighter one? Here. So put a little bit out here. A little bit of watercolor brush. I don't want to lose the scales. I just want to knock them back so they're not bright white. So I'm just going to kind of go in here and touch them on top of the Posca. So can you see the difference between this and that? See how it just knocked it back just a little bit? So it's not too bright pink. I mean bright white. It knocked it back to pink. So that's what I'll do everywhere that we did the white. Just... Uh, I don't want it full strength. It'll be it be too much. But it just takes the Posca back to just bright, but not pure white. Okay, I want to do the same thing. I'm gonna I need to work on her hair a little more too, but I'm running out of time. So. Well, you know what? Before I do this, I want to do the pencil first, I think. Let's, I want to get in there with that little bit of dark pencil. A little bit of shadowing before I put the before I put the uh, final. I guess it really doesn't matter which way I do it because a pencil will go over it either way. But I want the scales to stand out just a little bit more now. Do a few of the pink ones.
you knew I'd fix it. <laughs> well, you know, if, if like I said, if nothing else, you can always just paint it all out and start over. Okay, now let's go back to my water brush and some of the pink. Knock the white Posca back just a little. I hope y'all enjoyed playing with uh, some watercolor brush. These are the Arteza, but you know, the, I showed you one with the uh, real Zig clean color. There's those as well. I'll tell you, the Artesias are much less expensive. But the, the difference, I think, I can't, I can't tell the difference between the paint, okay? I can't tell the difference between the watercolor itself. But the difference is the brushes. Let me show you again. The length of the brushes. Let's see, come over here. See the lengths of the brushes? And I did show that earlier. Um, they'll, they can, they'll both give you a nice fine point. But if you want to do, see, it'll kind of kind of skips if you use a full flat brush, whereas the shorter brush, you know, it's more solid. But that's just because the length of the brush. But they'll both, this is, you know, and because it's longer, it's a little more floppy. It's a little floppier than the short brush. So, but you can get both of them, you can get very fine tiny lines with either one by just using the tip <clears throat> hi michelle so yeah let's get let's brighten it up just a little here there we go so we're getting there. It's, it'll take a little bit more, you know. And again, I still got all this hair up here to do. Um, and then I'll probably go in with another layer of Posca on the braids to make them stand out some more. But hopefully y'all got some ideas. Do you have any questions or anything before we go? I'll post it when it's done. I'll post a completed picture. Um, same thing for the little bird down here. I can go back in with my uh, with the light aqua. Here we go. Let me sharpen. She looks like a video game character. What's her superpower? <laughs> yeah, I still, I want to darken up her skin here and continue it down. You know, um, this is just, you know, I'm not going to have it all scales all the way down, but she is going to be, you know, a, a kind of a combination of brown and purple all the way down here. Um, now, a little bit on the bird. I'm just going to go over the little Posca lines and knock back the white Posca to make it this aqua color, light aqua. Oh, I wanted to do a little bit on the, I'm gonna show y'all some, uh, uh, maybe I'll just do a couple, cause I wanna keep working on it. I can't work on it with wet stickles or um, wet um, shimmer. So, all right, so I'm just going over the white, a little bit of the white on the feathers here, just to knock back the white a little bit. Um, maybe I'll do a well, dang, I don't know where I want to maybe her earring so I don't really want to put the stickles or anything on yet because I want it I don't want I want to keep working and I can't do it with wet stickles but let me see let me get some gold stickles out here <clears throat> Do her earring here. 
just so you can see. I'm going to do all the beads, all the beads and the beak on the, the beak on the uh, bird. Let's see, I can probably do her little piercings there. I'll do a little bit right here just so you can see. But I want to keep working and I don't want to work around wet stickles. But I want you to see what it's going to look like. Okay. So there we go. See the stickles there on the beak and the jewelry? Thank you, Cajun Crafts. So you can see the gold stickles on there. It just makes it really jewel, look like jewels. Now, when I photograph th this kind of thing, I take a, I try to take an on shot and then a kind of a side shot so you can kind of see it a little bit. It doesn't photograph very well, but, you know, that's why I like to show it on camera here. So I'll continue to work on it, and then I will post it on... Um, I'll post it on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know. So, yeah. Thank you, Nick and Tina. Hope y'all are doing well. I haven't seen, are, are y'all still, what happened? Are y'all, aren't y'all streaming anymore? What's going on, Nick and Tina? Fess up. What's going on? I haven't seen you stream lately. Are y'all Okay. Just gonna darken up her pupils one last time here. Same thing for the little bird. Let's do a little bit of shading on his heart. And of course I'll do her fingernails and the rest of her skin. Hey Bonnie! Hi Hella! CB! Debbie, anybody else I missed? Hi, Sherry Ann. Who else am I missing? Thank you. Thank you so much, Julie. So, again, I'll keep working on her, uh, but you can see that we turned her blemishes into scales. <laughs> it was touch and go there for a minute. And I still got to finish, you know, like right in here, her ear, and then all this has to be blended out. <laughs> I didn't see Nick and Tina answer. Oh, there they are. On Monday. Okay, you're on Monday. Okay. I must have missed it because I usually get notifications. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Kiki. So thanks, everybody, for being here. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, again, let me show you the book. It's available on Etsy, Mermaid and Friends Coloring Book. And um, there's this is her name right here. She's German. There's her name. Let me show you the business card again. Let me get a business card out. So here's her business card. Mystic Art Mirrors. Surrealism Manga Oil Painting Art by Christine. Kristen. Glorious Ink, and she's on Etsy, okay? She's on Etsy if y'all want this book. And apparently she also has a, a book of fairies. And uh, Melody said she's sending me the book of fairies. So um, I'm not sure if the artist sent me this one or who sent it, if someone wants to fess up and tell me. But otherwise, thank you. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks, Lou. All right, guys, y'all have a good, good Wednesday. Happy hump day, people. <laughs> bye, Gail. Bye, Gail. <laughs> bye, guys. <laughs>